So we are in Budapest, Hungary, just outside the capital. We just landed about an hour ago. Um, I'm with Joe. Hello, I'm Joe behind the camera. Joe, the camera operator. Um, let me guess, let me guess. We're, something, we're doing something to do with air? With air, yeah. So we're outside the pilot training center. Basically, we've been invited to try out this new virtual reality tech they're using, which is pretty cool. It's actually developed by Airbus. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So we're going to play on a VR console of some sort. I love VR games. It's literally a VR headset. So you whack it on, as you've seen in sort of gaming, same thing. Basically puts pilots in the cockpit. They can do safety procedures, go through the controls. Forget about even... the safety procedures. I just want to know if I can crash the thing. Well, what you can do is try out on an emergency landing. So if you feel so inclined, we could potentially crash a Wizz Air jet later. Oh yeah, I think the audience wants to see some crash going. I don't know about you. Uh, yeah, obviously safety is really important. Why do they bother doing this type of stuff anyway? Well, I'm not completely sure. It's very new tech, but what we're going to do is speak to some pilots, go inside, see what they think of it. I know that Lufthansa have trialled it out, Wizz Air now are, and Airbus um, have described it as revolutionary, but obviously they would say that, wouldn't they? <laughs> well, shall we go and have a good look then? Let's have a look. Yeah. Bit of background about Wizz Air. It's the third biggest low-cost airline in Europe, behind Ryanair and EasyJet. Its main airport in the UK is Luton, um, although it also does flights from Gatwick as well. Alongside the pilot training centre in Budapest, it's also building one in Rome, costing around $40 million, although as yet, it won't have VR. Focus, focus, your stupid thing. So, this is going to be Really quite interesting. Hey, well, how about on camera operator Joe? Traditionally, what you do is go onto one of these fake panels. Imagine you're a plane pilot. What do you do? Probably cockpit door. Make sure that's closed. <laughs> we, we clearly are complete professionals here. Make sure we're, we're level. Um, yep, yeah, uh, I think uh, captain guy, we are definitely level. So we're very ready to um, pull a butt, pull this thingy. <laughs> And maybe you press a couple of buttons. Okay, I'm going to call you captain. I'm the co-pilot. I'm definitely not the captain. You're not, you're not the captain. You know what you're doing, right? Okay, so I'm joined by Tavari Attila, head of training at Wizz Air and a former pilot. Can you just explain how has this new VR tech helped training for pilots? Yeah, we are uh, very happy to implement it uh, last December and the program significantly improved the pilot training. Uh, we see major improvement in uh, training standards because they are more eager to uh, play with the uh, VR than reading books. Can you imagine just reading books and, and uh, reading the procedures and, and memorizing it? Instead, right here you have the possibility to actually have the motoric movement with your hands. So whenever you enter our simulators, you are much more ready for the training, which gives them a much better result. And as a result, we can give them much deeper training, much better training and much better standards. How many other airlines are currently using this type of training? And could you see it sort of come into widespread use by in mainstay legacy carriers, other budget airlines? I don't know the exact numbers, but they are different uh, level of implementation or already by different airlines, not just for pilot training, but for cabin crew training as well. I see a, a very big potential, specifically that this program is, a, is a, a development for the new generation. Mm -hmm. They are much more on the iPad, much more connected to the uh, internet, and uh, it, it really deeply supports their, their learning abilities. Does it allow you to recruit, say, more pilots, because you can train people maybe faster or more efficiently and by that extension maybe even have an impact on, on capacity. It, it, the intention is not to recruit more trainees but to mm. have much better standards. Really it's the whole uh, mentality of the pilot that they, they if she is successful they will be happy so it's a totally different uh, experience uh, during training for them. Being a former pilot yourself 
how does it actually compare to the reality of sort of sitting in a cockpit doing all the you know preparations for a flight the view for pilots usually we come back to the simulator every six months and uh, during this uh, six months we do normal operation most of the time and before we come to the simulator we have time to read the books and prepare for the session but it's still again it's reading the book and this is how you prepare for a simulator while in VR uh, environment you can you can actually feel like sitting in a cockpit yeah. and doing exactly what you're gonna expect to do in the, in the simulator so it gives them a very clear view how close is it to the real life experience say you've just trained using this VR and then someone threw you into a cockpit yeah, yeah. you know are you going to be able to, to at least have a go or in, fully, almost fly a plane yeah fully agree with that because it, it's so real that you can even see the shadows there all yeah. the scratches on, on the fly deck so it's, it's the environment is, uh, is, is very realistic and uh, I, I, I feel like in a real environment even the sunset or sunrise is there so you can mm. see the the, uh, the shadows every, so it's, it's, it's a beautiful environment what they created so that the product what they, they uh, accomplish this is a very high standard. Righty-ho, right. So guys, we've just had a quick overview of Wiz and uh, some of the cool stuff they're doing, but now we're apparently supposed to be doing something about the cabin crew training or something? Know anything about this? Yeah, so we're not doing a VR yet, but now it's basically um, it's called CEET, it's written on the wall there. Oh, um, CET, ooh. So through that door is basically half of the jet um, that they built, which is basically a massive simulation. So I think we go on, then they essentially pretend to crash the plane. Okay, I'm, I'm loving this already. We're going to crash a plane apparently. Oh no, they're going to crash a plane and we're in it? Well, yeah, we're in it. It's not actually real. Um, <laughs> Think there'll be a bit of shaking videos uh, i'm guessing um, my mum probably wouldn't appreciate this somehow we do get the um slides off the side of the plane winning at oh. life i'm gonna be so, so um. on slides crashing planes this is the best drop ever right anyway you better get in there because we're a bit late Obviously, it's a simulation. Yes. We are potentially going to be able to jump out on the slides um, afterwards. I, I don't know. Never been in a plane crash myself. Nor have I. Know exactly what's going to happen, but this is quite exciting. Yeah. Let's see. We are going to crash, guys. Of course, of that one, we will leave the runway. Good. Get ready. So, guys, we are about to crash. Get ready for the brace and get ready to jump out of the airplane. Oh, here we go, guys. Brace, <laughs> Is this brace? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> my pet dog. I don't have a pet dog, but I love you if I had one.
a guy. Um, I think we just survived the crash. That was, that was pretty easy, to be honest. Straight out of the slide. We just need to have flames around us and stuff next time. Yeah, there weren't, there weren't much flames, not in the video. Exactly, exactly. But hey, now we've speak, we can honestly say we've been in a plane crash. Boom! A simulated plane crash. Yeah. Details, details. We're going through one of the um, plane exits. Follow me, leg, head, leg. Follow me, follow me, leg, head, leg. Follow me, follow me. Head, leg, leg. Leg, head, leg. Okay, so we are finally about to try the VR cockpit headset um, after a day of waiting. Let's see what happens. Here's the screen. Um, as you can see, it's pretty realistic. It all sounds very interesting, but this is yeah. definitely the finale, right? Yeah, this, this, this is it, I think. Although, unfortunately, I don't think you can do an emergency landing, which is a bit of a shame. I but. must admit, I was really looking forward to crashing the plane. Deliberately. But, hey, 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 but we did actually participate in an emergency landing that was pretty cool yeah we got a, we got a simulation to be fair although not virtual reality hey but maybe in the next version Jesus. maybe the next version guy hey <laughs> <laughs> so we've just tried it out i'd say pretty impressive it literally directs you step by step what to do you feel like completely like you're in the cockpit. They were even saying that there's like a full airplane tour you can do so you can literally walk around the whole plane. They put on this sort of lesson simulator where it literally tells you, you know, check this button, check this button, quite a lot of detail. And at that point I was kind of like, ah, oh, I see, you know, this is how you sort of develop the muscle memory. Right, Guy, as a sci-fi nerd, I've been reading and watching movies about VR and stuff like this for literally the past couple of decades. I'm a little bit disappointed I never got a chance to play around with it. What's your thoughts on it? It was fun. It is kind of futuristic, future has arrived today vibes. I personally think the more interesting side is just how it's being used across other industries. VR, like on top of training pilots, it's being used in medicine. VR is now being used in therapy settings by psychiatrists. It's also being used in doctors and surgeons to prep for like major surgery. I'm so glad that Wizard sent us over to Budapest. It gave us a bit of insight into what they do when it comes to cabin training, the captain training, and something I never would otherwise really understand because it's not part of my world. I thought we were just going to be doing VR, but then we literally got to see the entire pilot training center, got to go in a crash plane and just see how it's all done. And obviously the VR is an interesting thing, but it was pretty cool.